As I recall, I only asked for Luger and Maxwell. We don't trust you spurious people. <laughs> oh, why don't you tell me how you really feel, Dr. Mathis? I didn't expect that much spine from one who claims to support both Spyrix and spirits. <laughs> the accord twixt the two nations has been ratified. Adversity can be a strong foundation for peace. How selfless of you to come all this way to give me your report. Both as a CEO and a citizen, I'm overjoyed. I take it that you're Beasley Bacor. Looking at you, you do appear to be a formidable man. And you, I would presume, must be the true Maxwell. My Milo was true too, you know! You are correct. Every inch as proud as I'd expect from the Lord of Spirits. The Dimensional Abyss has stabilized. Then I shall transfer you the coordinates of the fractured dimension containing the final way marker. Have you uncovered the identity of the last way marker yet? No. That said, you should find it easily enough. Focus your search on the divergence catalyst, as in any other case. If Dr. Mathis and his friends are willing to cooperate, you are sure to succeed. I'll cooperate with Luger. But I do it on my own terms, to fulfill my duty. Indeed. We cooperate because we want to, not because we are ordered to. <laughs> Exercising your own free will, huh? That is humanity's strength. You have some steadfast friends, Luger. <laughs> the final way marker is within our grasp. In this grand endeavor, I wish you Godspeed. You put a lot of trust in Luger. With good reason. The key of Kresnik is mankind's last hope. Only he can overcome Origin's trial. No pressure, right? <sighs> I didn't expect the company president to see us off personally. A difficult man to predict. A flawless execution on that linked art. Let's keep watching for those sorts of opportunities. Huh? Suddenly the cats are bringing fancier items back with them. Having more friends must inspire them to work harder. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry to bother you, but I wanted you to have this. I know you're no stranger to suffering, shouldering even burdens that aren't yours to bear. Consider this a token of my support. I have great respect for you and your efforts, but please, be careful not to push yourself too hard. Charlton, huh? It's been ages. It takes me back to when we all first met. Conductor Ilbert? Yes, I am Rowan Ilbert. I was once the steward for House Cheryl. A pleasure to see you again. How dare you! How dare I what? You take me for an idiot. I don't know who put together that costume of yours, pal, but it's not fooling me. Costume? 
Don't play dumb. Conductor Ilbert died eight years ago. He was murdered. Have you no shame? Where have you been? It was a big deal in Riza Maxia. King Gaius threw him a state funeral and everything. Huh? Who murdered him? No one knows. They found the body floating in Lake Epsilla in Olympias. Lake Epsilla? Now I've had enough of your sick little joke. Buzz off. Intriguing. A fractured dimension in which I've been murdered. But if everyone here already knows about Olympias, and Rowan died eight years ago. This fractured dimension must be several years ahead of the prime dimension. Anyway, let's investigate the murder scene. They said the murder scene was at Lake Epsilla in Olympias, correct? That is what they said. But visiting the site is my own murder. I can't say I'm looking forward to this. I wonder if the time capsule we buried is here in this world, too? An interesting question. Shall we visit the manor to see for ourselves? Burying them here was Lady Drussell's idea. Should we dig them up? No, I want to keep mine buried for a while. I promised Elise and Drussell. Very well. Then we shall dig up only mine and Lugas. These are exactly the same time capsules that we buried. Hmm. Interesting. This dimension's history was identical to the Prime's, until some point in the past. Perhaps my death was the point at which the two split. The death of a nation's Prime Minister would certainly leave a mark on history. Rowan, don't you want to meet this dimension's Drissel? I'd better not. Nothing good would come of it. Stewer? Is that even a word? <laughs> I wasn't her steward. I was her steward. Oh, I know that word. It's like a handmaid, right? Steward. Steward. Steward is another word for butler. I served Lady Drissel, the Lord of Sheraton. Why, Luga, I had no idea. My daddy always said I'm a beautiful young lady, too. Luger, what do you think of Drissel? 
I could try and set you up with her. Huh? <laughs> Don't be shy now. You two are the same age after all. Wait just a moment. Any prospective suitor of my Lady Drissel must complete my extensive screening process. First, you'll need to pass the 256 tests I've prepared for any aspirant to her hand. Don't be so strict. I'll be vouching for him. Then you'll need to be evaluated as a would-be matchmaker. There are 180 requirements, but you can pass with a score of 170 or above. But I am the Lord of Spirits. Must I be tested so? Of course. Lady Drissel is my greatest treasure, bequeathed to me by Lord Klein himself. She means more to me than life itself. Wow, you sound just like my daddy, Rowan.
It's a spy right. Who found you? Don't go running off like that. Excuse me, but is that a spy right? Huh? Yeah, what else would it be? Does it ever, you know, lose control of itself? Good heavens, no. 
I mean, he gets into trouble once in a while, but he's a good little Spyrite. Where might we learn more about Spyrite technology? Well, you could try the Spurious Corporation, I guess, but I doubt they'll tell you anything worthwhile. It's not really in their interest to spill any secrets. They have a total monopoly on the Spyrite market. Spyrite technology is everywhere in this world. Perhaps the Jude of this dimension could tell us the secret to making Spyrite technology viable. One more question. Have you ever heard the name Jude Mathis? Sure, in school. He's the guy who brought Spyrite technology to the masses. How about that, Jude? Shame how he died, though. It's been a few years, but I still remember all the news stories about that mass murder. All those bodies bobbing in Lake Epsila. Mm. Wait, I'm dead too? Clearly, we need to get to this Lake Epsila. It's turning out to be quite the crime scene. Very well. Jude. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. You should stop. That line of thought won't lead you to the answers you seek. Huh? What did you think I was thinking about? About whether the profusion of spyrites was connected to your murder. Y yeah If they're unrelated, then that's that. Even if they are, that's a path you mustn't choose. But what if it's my death that leads to Spyrites replacing Spyrix technology? Don't talk like that! Sure, it would be cute to have those weird little things everywhere, but I'd rather have you. Do you understand now why you can't choose that option? Because I need to be around to bring about the future we all yearn for. Because you won't be there to do it yourself. seems to be bouncing back. Jude. This is simply the way Jude is. Please try and understand. Wait, you found something strange in Lake Epsilla? While I was fishing, I reeled it in by accident. Wait a minute, I know that thing. This is, uh, this is the stuffed animal the governor of Sheraton asked us to look for. Right, apparently it was that poor little girl's most prized possession. Why did it show up now? She's been dead for years. They never did find the killer, you know. Damn thing's probably cursed. Tipo? Which means the murdered girl was none other than... Elise. What in the world happened at that lake? Let's make haste for Lake Epsilla. The culprit must be long gone. But perhaps we can obtain some more information about the deed. 
lake. So it is possible. We can make a world free of Spyrex. I suppose you could say this is an ideal future. In that one sense, at least. You okay, Lutz? Don't push yourself. Drellin's so full of restaurants. The entire city smelled fantastic. Mmm. Just thinking about it makes my stomach growl. Really? At a time like this? Clearly all that time in the Abyss did nothing to steady your metabolism. Oh, <laughs> food is the fundamental building block of life, Jude. And you can't fight on an empty stomach. Everyone's talking about food and now I'm hungry. As am I. When do you imagine we'll be eating? <coughs> your cooking has them all eating out of your hand, Luger. Indeed. Although I understand that El's father is quite the cook in his own right. He sure is! He's the best cook I've ever met in my life! Defeating Luger in the kitchen is no easy feat. I hope I get the opportunity to try his cooking one day. Well, if you're that eager, when I see him again, I'll ask him for you. Maybe he'll take pity on everyone and cook for all of you. I certainly hope he does. Well, that would be most generous of him. <coughs> Slaves to your appetites. The whole lot of you.
Thank you. 